there are many people who consider themselves Christian. They choose a denomination like Lutheran or Methodist or Catholic. And then they think they have the right to take their ideas out into the world and test them out on people, like their relatives. They really don't. The purpose of evangelism is to convert people to think about the afterlife, to wish themselves a good life, but also to live within the light of the Lord. To live within the light of the Lord, it means you keep the Lord's countenance. It means that you pray on a daily basis. It means you listen to the Holy Ghost as it's approved by the Heavenly Father or Divine Mother, whichever deity you believe in, and there's really both. And openly, it means that you accept angels around you. Now, if you don't want to do things correctly, I can't apologize for you because I'm not responsible for you. And every time you try to take responsibility for someone else's lives or the miscarriage of their life, then there's a problem. You see, what you chose to marry is what your life has become. And a lot of times children are wary of staying in a family where there's abuses, whether it be psychological, emotional, physical, and pray to God, not sexual. But there's also something called spiritual abuse. And spiritual abuse is sort of a new thing. It's you don't believe like I do, so I'm not going to tolerate your beliefs. But the truth is God made all religions for the most part. Most all have been channeled in truth from the Lord's house. And openly, we have the right to study and research anything on God. Now, in your version of faith, there's only one God, and there is. Only one God that governs and rules the world. And right now we have a time of COVID. Now, why is that? Because God, every couple hundred years, we've seen throughout history and time, likes to clean house, remind people of their lifeline, remind people of their morbid mortality rates that are out there. But at the same time, it's a way to cleanse the earth because if more creatures that God has created start to, well, land and become a part of our earth, then we really don't have much of a chance, do we, to finish what we've begun. But what we're talking about is who did you marry? And why did you marry them? And have they provided you a good life in fun and folly and love? Or have they provided you so much strife that you're so battered and abused by the situations that they create in their amusement and their need for power and addictions, whether it be to tobacco or alcohol or drugs, that you're often, well, carried away with your own codependency, thinking that you're in charge of other people's lives. And that's the foolery in your mind, that you came out of a family situation of abuse, you stepped into a new family situation of abuse, and it's been impacting you your whole life. Other people come out of those situations saying, phew, I'm not doing that again. I'm not going to pick someone like my mother, but yet we do. My late Japanese spouse was very similar in a lot of characteristics, not all thankfully, to my mother. And she was not a bad person. But at the same time, there are people that don't, don't understand how to play fair in this world. And those are often the children of another.